Hi, I'm Derek Charge. I'm a product manager at Rockwell Automation. Welcome to this 450L how-to series of short videos. In this how-to video, we'll be learning how to use the standard brackets supplied with the 450L light curtains. So the two standard brackets are the 450L AM-SM, which is a side mount bracket. It's a three-piece bracket. It has a, a cradle for attaching to the, the light curtain. Then it has the actual bracket itself that mounts onto your frame. And then there's another part which locks it into position. I'll speak about that in a little bit more detail in a second. The other bracket we have is the 450L AM TBM, which is the top bottom mountain bracket. Now this is applied standard with every single light curtain, every single 450L light curtain that's sold. It's important to note that because I still see a couple of folks requesting traces for this. People don't seem to realise that it comes with a standard. Uh, a lot of other competition food supply brackets are standard, we do. So it's a two-piece construction, it's a 90 degree bracket and there's a little rotating part on the top. So again, this allows you quite a bit of rotation once you have it on. So how do these work? I'll use this loose stick to demonstrate. So you, you clip the top disc into the bracket and you then insert the screws into the two threaded inserts at either end of the light curtain. So you have a little bit of versatility in how you use this. Its space is a is limited, you can have it this way round, so it's within the frame and you'd mount it that way. If space isn't so much of an issue, you can mount it that way, it's much easier to get to the mounting positions then and you'd, you'd screw it in from, from that side. Obviously your cap would be the other way round about. I'll show you. So you need a, a fine point Phillips screwdriver for this job. So doing it this way has the advantage that you can actually mount them to the light curtains before you mount them in to your, your machine. Whereas the other way around you have to mount them first of all. But there is quite a generous area there where you can um, adjust the position so that there is quite a bit of tolerance. Now you can see there, I'm only going to do one side, but that gives you quite a lot of rotation. And you can, once you're happy with your alignment, you can tighten that up. And that just stops the rotation altogether. That fixes your position and it's now nice and, nice and tight, so it's no movement there. And the side mount bracket, this again is a, is a really neat and versatile bracket. You've got three different ways you can mount this. So we have mounting holes on either side and the back, so it can go onto the machine like that, it can go that way around, or it can go that way around, I guess at least six and a half a dozen whether it's upside down or that way around, it's, it's entirely up to yourself, it's very versatile. You mount this to your machine first of all, you then take the cradle, the cradle would clip on to your light curtain and you, you press it loosely until it clips 
you can you can use the end caps as a bit of a guide if you want so you have them at top and bottom and then you you use that as an alignment aid for longer sticks it may be an idea you may want to put a side mount in the middle or you may might want to have so you'd have three in total or if it's the, the very longest you might want to have four just to give it a bit more um, torsional stability so that there's, there's no twisting on that and it also helps against vibration so like I say you can use these end caps as, as a guide so this is set up already um, to fit in in these positions so all you do to fit it in position there's a number of grooves in here so you need to align it properly and again it should just be a case of firmly pressing that in so there you go and I've got that in now and you can see again there's a good bit of rotation there I think it's plus minus five degrees to get on that so that allows you to do your alignment for the, the light curtain once you've got the, the mounts in place good thing about the side mount bracket is there's also a little bit of up and down movement there as well as the rotational movement it's explained further in the, the alignment video, but once you have your alignment done, you would then tighten up these bolts to make sure the light curtain doesn't move. Now there is a recommended torque for these. They should be torqued to 4.5 Newton meters. I highly recommend that you use a, a torque driver for that. And, and don't overdo it. If you overdo it, there is the possibility that you can break the plastic. Um, you also don't want to be putting four and a half on one side when the other one's completely loose. You want to do them bit by bit and then tighten them up fairly evenly. So once that's all tightened up, there should be no movement on that and that should be rock solid on your machine and be reliable for the duration of the operation of that light curtain.